Good morning, Cadre. It's Wednesday, August 7th. Figured I'd record a shave here for you guys. Um, we're getting into the week here. Um, things are going well. So I've been busy with uh, some football stuff. So I've been doing that. And then I uh, wrote down my uh, favorite um, colleges in each conference. So first, uh, from Don, continuing with the socks, going through all of them. Today I'm wearing the pineapple. So they're the ones that I grabbed today. Looking forward to it. Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits. Really enjoy it. So thanks again, Don. Hang them back there. Um, on deck today, as far as the shave goes, I'm using a chiseled face soap. This one is banana. Um, this is more of a banana fruit smell, not like that sweet smell that or that synthetic banana that you get in candy or stuff along those lines. It's a really nice, good banana scent, and I really enjoy it. Um, I don't have the matching aftershave because as much as I like the scent of banana, I don't really want to walk around smelling like a banana all day. So that's kind of the way that goes. So we're going to go ahead and get the bloom water on the face. Um, and then we'll get further into this and start going here. Um, I think we're going to just do a face lather today and we're running a, not necessarily shorter on time, but um, my wife started back to work this week. She's doing testing on the incoming kindergartners, so that means that she's going to leave the bathroom sooner than normal. Um, because she's waking up. So I'm not going to speed through the shave, but and I'm not going to say this video is going to be shorter because you just never know. It's a little bit earlier. I'm trying to still get some of these done. So the brush today is the Rudy Vey Group by from 2016. I, I really like the handle. I really like the shape. It's one of my favorite Rudy Bay brushes that I own. Um, the knot is uh, two band finest, I believe, from Shade Mac. It's good stuff. So we're just gonna get a lather going here. And with chiseled face, it's pretty. The lather builds pretty quickly, and it's pretty easy to just build out on the face and get to the shaving consistency that I like. Um, so I'm not really going... When I face lather, what I tend to notice is, is that I get my lathers to a consistency where it's still thick and slick, but they're a little bit on the drier side. But it works for me. You know, everybody has to find an optimal lather spot that works for them. So, um, yesterday was our, so Saturday was football clinic, the physical, and everything along those lines. Um, today we had our first union meeting of the seat of the football season. They happen at other times, but this one was for the first one of the football season since we've considered officially started because the schools are um, on what's allowed to do practices with pads and starting this Wednesday schools can schedule um, live scrimmages so Friday I'm doing a live scrimmage at the high school that's literally down the street from my house um, we do get paid for these which is nice a regular game fee and we got a raise this year the union got us a raise that goes into effect over the next three years um, an additional $15 per game $7 this year 5 the second year 3 the third year make sure I do my math right a little early to be doing math I got it so that's nice so anyways, I'll be going down there for that. Um, and I'll be going full uniform, 
the coaches kind of decide of whatever team they invite in. I'm not sure what team they invited in, but the two head coaches on each team decide how they want to do it. I've done a few of these over the years, and each each one is different. So I'll I'll come back and talk about it. They're they're fun, you know. They're they're really fun to do. Um, so real quickly here, what I'm using today is the, I want to go back to it because I've been contemplating selling it. There's been a lot of hype talk about it. The Rockwell, I've got it on, um, from, I went back and I looked and I, I tended to really like number four. Number four and number five seem to be my favorites, but we're going to use number four today. So see how it goes. So I got my results back yesterday at the meeting. I did well. So now all I've got to do is finish the written test and I have to pass that with an 80% or better. Easy. I've always gotten 90 or higher. Um, and that's due by September 1st. If we don't have that done, well, they stop assigning us games. Have to score 85 or better to be eligible for um, postseason. And this year I was asked to be an evaluator. So, moving up in the officiating world, was asked to help evaluate um, game film of newer officials and provide feedback on how they are doing on the field. So, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I'm also gonna, I've am also i also been asked to work a few games with some newer officials at the JV and sophomore level to uh, also provide that feedback. So it should be fun. I, I like the Rockwell, I really do. I just, it almost just feels repetitive to be in my den. But we'll see. I'm gonna pause you one second. Okay. Get ready for pass two. Um, if you guys are somebody who likes the occasional fruit scent, buy this banana. You know, you don't have to. I I don't want the matching aftershave. I do not want. To, I'll admit that. You know, it's like it's one of those fun scents where it's fun to use, but you don't want to walk around smelling like a banana all day. The scent's great though. Don't get me wrong. It's not a scent I want on me all day. So. You ready for that? Now we're going to go through my list. So I, I wrote down all of the big conferences. So the AAC, American Athletic Conference, the Atlantic Coast Conference, the Big 12, the Big 10, Conference USA, the Independents, the Middle American, the Mountain West Conference, the Pac-12, the SEC, and the Sun Belt. The only one that I had a hard time picking, because apparently I don't watch a lot of that football, is Conference USA. This is all Division One. I. I didn't do any of the lower divisions. If I did, that would have been a shout out to my alma mater, um, NAIA school, Westminster College. That's where I got my undergrad. Not my grad. Got my undergrad there. Um, when I was there, actually, we had one of John Stockton's sons, who's now playing overseas, who, um, attended that school and was the same age as me. You guys know I live in the state of Utah. John Stockton's a big deal. Um, they won the national championship while he was here. It was awesome. So, I mean, we had sports, but we were a small school. It was fun. Okay. So, AAC. Um, team I root for. My, uh, my grandpa served, and so I root for the Navy. He was alive. I remember watching Navy games with him. He would always talk about being in Annapolis and watching their games. You know, he went to a couple live and stuff and remembers being in, you know, all in uniform in the stands and stuff. Fun stuff. So I always root for that. The ACC, um, I'm a sucker for this team. I like their pre-games. Um, coaching is okay. Um, granted, they've had some problems over the years in the media, but 
ACC, I root for Florida State. Sorry, guys. I just like their colors. I like their mascot. I think it's cool what they're doing. Um, Big 12. This was a hard one for me. Um, but I chose OK State if I had to pick a favorite. There's not a lot of teams in that conference that I dislike or that I don't enjoy watching, but that's who I chose. The Big Ten, um, I picked two, one in each of their divisions, um, mainly because um, one of them I like because one of my favorite players attended there, Charles Woodson, so I root for Michigan. Which will really throw you off when I get a little bit further into this, but it'll make sense. So, now mind you, when I say these teams, they're who I like, who I tend to, like if I'm watching and they're playing not one of my two favorites, I'll root for them usually to win. Usually. I mean, I'm not invested in them. I'm not like a fan, right? Fan is short for fanatic. I'm a fanatic for two other teams. Um... So, and then the other one is Wisconsin. I really like Wisconsin. I love their style of play. I love their offense. I love the ground and pound method. I love run first offenses to open up the running game. Beautiful, beautiful football played at Wisconsin. Conference USA, I'm like, man, I don't really know. I'm not sure, but I remember that I've sat down and I've enjoyed watching Rice. So that's who I picked. Um, Independence, I root for Army. Um, and my second favorite team, so you guys already know who my first is, but my second favorite team, I root for them no matter what. Whoever they're playing, I root for them. Except for the one year when they played my beloved Utes, and then I basically I wore a t-shirt that had them on one side and the Utes on the other, and that's the Fighting Irish. A huge Notre Dame fan. Huge Notre Dame fan. Um, Middle American, I've always enjoyed rooting for Toledo. When I, whenever I can watch some of their games. I think it's interesting how the last few years they've become more and more relevant, fun to watch. The Mountain West Conference, um, that's where my Utes used to be eight, nine years ago now. Um, and what I, when the WAC dissolved after the shuffle of conferences, um, another in-state school, the Utah State Aggies, went up there, and um, a lot of their head coaches used to be, like over the years, their coordinators used to be from the state of Utah. So I've always really enjoyed rooting for them when they're not playing the Utes. So I, I root for Utah State. Um, but aside from that, a lot of the teams in there, because of just history with my Utes, I don't really root for them ever because there's just too much history. Um, Sons of Mountain West Conference, the Pac-12, that's easy. Utes, duh. So, lather, great as usual, of course. Good stuff. Um, rinse that down. Um, the Sun Belt. So I have a cousin who graduated from here, and I think it's neat whenever a team becomes Division One, and they do so well in the beginning. And that's Georgia Southern. So I root for Georgia Southern. I think it's neat, you know, at school, what they've done. It wasn't too long ago they, I can't remember what SEC team they beat, but I thought that was neat. I root for them. So SEC, I left that one for last because Don's going to watch this and he's going to get upset because I said I don't usually root against LSU, and that is true, but it's not one of my two favorites. Sorry, Don. Uh, and there are two divisions, so to speak. If it had it my way, the winners out of the top would be Georgia. I like the I like their style. You know, I like their style of offense, the way they play the game. So I root for them. The second one, though, come, is because of family ties. So I've had family graduate from there. I've, you know, my grandpa was stationed in the area for a while. Um, he always rooted for them. I like their style of football again. Uh, 
And that's Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Another fun one. So, sorry, Don. I apologize. Uh, I won't apologize to Craig about Alabama. Um, but that's where it comes down to. I mean, the, and it's like the only time that I root for Auburn, as an example, is when they're playing Alabama. But I, I like LSU, too. I mean, so don't get me wrong, Don, so I'm sorry. But uh, my two favorites are Georgia and Ole Miss. But I, I do root for um, LSU quite a bit. Or, you know, I look to them to win. Um, but, yeah, so back to that. My three favorite teams. I know I said two, but I've really got three. The Utes always, no matter who they're playing, they're number one. So what that means is even when they played Notre Dame, there was a small part of me that wanted the Utes to win. Second favorite team is Notre Dame. Root for them always. Those two games, I do with everything in my power to make sure that I watch both of those games every Saturday. No matter what. And then I'm flipping through the other channels and just watching the other games and see what comes up. It's what comes up. Third. Whoever's playing BYU. I'm a fan. I, I want BYU to lose every game. So. Um, that was a great shave. Kind of breezed through it. The Rockwell performed wonderfully on BBS. I mean, I have no good reason to get rid of it. It gives me great shaves. It's just that I just don't see myself using it a lot. Um, what do I want to use today? Dice, we're okay, we're all alive. Mm. We're gonna use this. I haven't used it in camera, I don't think. Stetson, one of my favorites. So, this is a good one. I'll apply the matching cologne too, probably off camera. I've got it. Um, I'm a huge Stetson fan. I'll still continue to say it. The best scented soap that CB Lindsay made was the Stetson. So that's my shave. Thank you, Cadre, for watching. Stay tuned. There's an announcement coming maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Soon. This week, probably. Working out some of the logistics, but I think everyone's going to enjoy it. So it's coming up. Um, the shave was great today, guys. I kind of breezed through it a little bit. I'm going to get ready, finish getting ready for work, and head on into the office. Hope you guys all have a great day. If you haven't joined us yet, hit up The Shaving Cadre at www.theshavingcadre.com. A lot of great stuff. A lot of great content. We're just building and building and building, and we're adding members constantly. So we're in a good spot. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, reach out to the three of us, Dave, Chris, or I. We'd love to have, talk to you about any of your ideas or anything that you want to do. And, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to, to get it running on the site, you know, if it's something that we think will work. Um, but come join us. Hope you guys all have a great Tuesday. Enjoy.